Hi, I'm Roxy, and this is Tarot of the Heart. Um, let's get into it. Let's see what the T is on your person that you're thinking about right now. So right off the bat, I'm already getting the fact that this person is that you're connecting with is too worried about whatever ish they got going on in their life right now to realize they have a Ace of Cups coming in for them. Or this could be you. Like you're too worried up in your head about some kind of loss that you had had or whatever happen is happening in the current moment i feel like you're too worried about all of that to see that you have an ace of cups coming in you have a new beginning coming into you you're just too worried about something else going on you have a lot of emotions for someone that i just feel like you got left empty handed multiple times it's not just one time it was multiple times for sure you're feeling stuck up in your head as well, and money might be a factor as well for you. I feel like you have some kind of balance coming in for sure. Um, you might have been juggling with some things, or this person that you are you are with. This could be you juggling, let's be honest here. Take the energy as it resonates. So, somebody was doing some kind of juggling, whether that was with time and money and trying to work and do too many things off in the background or having too many connections off in the background. They are not seeing what they have coming to them. One is a Ace of Cups, what I had said in the beginning. And somebody has some kind of choices to make to make things even out. And you sh that could end up turning into something that you end up celebrating. Ooh, you're going to get some communications in from somebody. I feel like this could be a younger person that comes in. could be a fire sign that comes in and wants to communicate with you. Because I got the lover's card and the eight of wands, which is communications. So you might get a communication. Could be from a Gemini as well. Somebody has a lot of options. Or they, they don't feel like they have any more options anymore. And they feel like you're their option. Yes. I feel like somebody put an ending to their options maybe. Because they do feel like you are their, their one. I feel like this person feels like they stumble upon like... um. Something that was not possible. I just keep seeing um, an island. Like, this person feels like they won the jackpot with you. Like, it's too good to be true. Almost like a mirage. But I feel like there's some kind of change coming in for you guys. After someone came in and offered you a fake cup of love. I feel like somebody had come in and offered you something or they started off with something that was small and now they want to grow this cup with you because they realized they were juggling too much in the background and this is what really ultimate stopped you from moving forward. There could have been a third party situation going on with the two of you and some substance abuse as well. I feel like this person really sees you like the prize. Like they keep, I keep hearing eyes. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. There's some kind of celebration that's going to be having. You're, you should be having as well. I feel like you manifested this into your life. Someone was trying to cover some stuff up. And you might find out this news that was being covered up. Ooh, I feel like somebody's seeing red. Somebody's angry about something as well. Someone's gonna start some uh, drama as well. I, I feel like some of you might find out some information because people are starting drama. It could be about a very um, loving, nurturing woman and people are trying to start shit about this poor girl even though she's off doing her own dang thing you know, and filling her own freaking cup. Somebody's out here saying ish about her because they're jealous because they can't be her. 
or they can't be this man. So they're out here saying so much shit about you or your person because they don't want you two to be together. So they think they they have what it takes. They This person really thinks he's got their shit going on. They really got you good, but that's not true. They're, they're gonna get their justice for doing what they've been doing out there, them dirty little shits. Dirty little rats. Someone is definitely stalking your page if you have a social media. They sit there and they watch you from afar. And definitely spinning webs of lies about you. Don't worry. All this shit's gonna come to light. It always does. You're gonna have the last laugh. You're gonna come in and you're like, you know what? No, that's not true because you know who I am. I don't have nothing to hide. But maybe this other person that's trying to say shit about you does. And that's what's going to become delight. This person, this dirty person in the background, this sly little fox that thinks they're getting away with all their ish that they're putting on you, they're going to be shown. Their light, the light is going to freaking show who this little character is in your life. Because you can't fuck with an empress, right? No, you can't. You can try to pretend you're an empress, but you're always going to get... Shit's always going to get shown. That mask is going to get ripped off. That band-aid's going to get ripped off. And you're going to find out your information you need to know. So if you're sitting here trying to wonder about who's, who's out there trying to get you, who's out there starting shit, do some fine-tuning in your life. You'll see exactly who's out there. When you stop putting out that first message, when you stop constantly um, trying to get someone's attention, if they're not reciprocating the energy, don't don't re re don't reciprocate it. Don't keep trying to push and push and push for someone to give you an attention. Don't do it. When you stop cutting people off that aren't actually for you, that you know. I feel like some of you know this and you need you know you need to cut these people out and it's hard because yes, you are very loving and you do have a big heart and you're always there for people, I feel like. Like you're just one of those people that everybody goes to, I feel like. And you know this and that hurts you because you just that's the type of person you are. You're always out here trying to help people and yet people are out here always trying to stomp on your name because they can't you can't buy that kind of vibe right you can't go out to walmart and say i want that vibe right there and i want that body right there don't work like that right the divine give you what you're supposed to have and that's just that you work with what you've got so don't be out here lying on someone's name because you're jealous of what they have come on now bro that's karma for you you're, you're stacking up your bad karma yeah, this illusion's definitely gonna be illuminated. Don't you worry. And all you little kinsmen that you got with you trying to help you, honey, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find that ish out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Yep. Because it's gonna blow up in their face. See how they have this wand right here? And then the, that's candles lit. It's because somebody's being illuminated and it's going to backfire right on them. Yep. Someone's going to have strength that they're coming out of this darkness and something's really going to be illuminated to what exactly is going on in the background. This person is definitely going to be shown their face because something is definitely going to be backfiring in them on them. This could be you or it could be the person that you're trying to fuck up. So take it as it resonates. I don't think all of you who are watching are the culprit though. Yeah, that, that person ha is dry as a bone. This person has lost a lot of shit that is talking about you. This person doesn't really have much and that's why they go after you because they see that you are have you have so much going on for you and you're so loving and they're jealous of this. It could be another woman as well. Another woman with dark hair. Somebody definitely is out to get you, but they're going to be illuminated so I 
try not to worry too much about it, but definitely st stand your ground and speak your truth. Don't ever feel like you need to justify yourself, though. Light is always on your side. You're going to end up coming out of this on top, just so you know. Things are going to be balanced out in your favor. You're definitely going to be celebrating out of some kind of darkness that's been illuminated to you. Definitely some kind of information about somebody who's definitely been looking to see you fa fail. Fall. I like I feel like some of you are getting a wish that you might have wished on on your birthday some of you made a made a wish either to the stars or on your birthday cake like I keep seeing um, blowing out birthday candles about something and you are wishing about something there's a wish your ten of cups I feel like some of you are wishing on a star or maybe a, a birthday cake or something and you're wishing for your ten of cups for your um For your match to come in and you're not going to see this coming so i keep hearing this song you know that song something you know the bottle song where you take one down pass it around 99 bottles of beer on the wall your person's drinking and they think about you. They're all up in their head. Like, one more shot. Just one more beer. Just They are really self-medicating. It definitely feel like it's alcohol. And it might just be beer for some of you that you're connecting with. Or this could be you sitting there drinking. And you sit there and you think about this person. Just another beer. Take it down. Pass it around. And drink another one. You are definitely burning by the secret that you keep. So maybe you are the one that's thinking about this person and you're being stopped from being with this person and you're talking about currently or thinking about sorry you're thinking about currently and it keeps you up in your head and you find yourself drinking and thinking about them and in your emotions and yeah <laughs> it just really burdens you you want to go back towards this person but you're afraid to lot of you definitely are being told not to go towards this person you're thinking about or this person that you're connecting with is definitely being told not to, to go towards you and money could be stopping this person from coming towards you as well Ooh, a past person for sure i don't feel like it's somebody too far into your past This person might want to come in and give you a gift. It could be flowers. It could be the fact that they want to take you on a date. This person might just end up out of the blue and say, Hey, what's up? Let's go on a date. And you're just going to be caught off guard by this. This person also is keeping themselves stuck. Like they have some kind of truth they need to tell. They're definitely up in their head and they're keeping this closed off. Like they're definitely not letting you know this. They're up on their wall and they're not coming down. But you know what happens to Humpty Dumpty though? He fell off, right? Because he got cracked open. I feel like there's something that's gonna like ultimately push this person off and crack open and be honest with you about their feelings. But they're on guard right now. They're really closed off because they had some kind of heartbreak. Maybe they had some legal issues they needed to take care of as well. They had some kind of justice that needed to be had. This person might have had to get a divorce. 
I really feel like some of you are connecting with someone who was in a relationship and was in the process of getting a divorce. Or maybe this other person wasn't allowing them to get a divorce and they were fighting this. And that's what's stopping them from coming forward. Their money, this divorce. And they haven't told you this yet because they're afraid that you might not accept the fact of what they were doing back in the background. Whew. This person's very, um, very worried that you're not going to see their side of the story and understand where they were coming from. And I think that's what keeps them ultimately in the dark about how they truly feel because they're afraid you're going to not understand what, where, why they did what they did. But if you are truly this uh, Queen of Cups, you're going to understand. You gotta, and if this person doesn't, then this person isn't meant for you. If this is you that is going through a divorce and you're on guard, which is completely understandable. You know, shit happens. But we all know that sometimes people just can't understand where you're coming from. If that's the case, that's not the person for you. Because your person that you're going to connect with, they're going to understand you in every way. Maybe not perfectly, but they're going to come to understanding. They're going to understand. They're going to give you the time that you need. Definitely has something to do with legal issues and this person's gonna let you know this because I feel like they do really care about you and they're just, they're gambling with their time because they're trying to get rid of all the stuff off in the background and clear it out before they come towards you because they want a clean slate. They don't want to bring this conflict into the new relationship they have going with you. I feel like this person really wants to um, um, be intimate with you quite a bit like the rabbit <laughs> fucking right rabbits is what i keep hearing <laughs> this person really wants to do some naughty things with you and i feel like they keep this closed off to you that they don't they don't tell you how much you turned them on and how much physical they want to be with you more than what you are if you are physical with them in that sense i feel like they wish they were with you a lot more than they give you. <laughs> they definitely want to come forward. They had to, I really feel like a lot of them had to get rid of some kind of um, rat in their um, close proximity. There's definitely a little rat that needs to be taken care of. And I feel like they're this little rat that they have or this little past person that they're trying to get rid of are these little people that are off in the distance stopping you them from coming forward? Are you coming from forward? I feel like you're getting finally getting to that straw and kicking this rat to the curb. Yep. I feel like somebody wants to take that leap of faith with you because they no longer want to be up in their head about all of this because they're realizing this is what's keeping them from moving forward. Someone really wants to take you on a date. Or maybe this is you wanting to take your person on a date. Focus and act. If this is what you want to do and you're you're watching this right now and you're thinking about taking your person out of a date, honey, go for it. Go do it. Go in like a blazing force and go after it. Tell your truth. Take that mask off. Rip the freaking band-aid off. Make the sacrifice. You have to sacrifice your heart in order to get something, right? You have to come in and say, yes, I have feelings for you. That's your sacrifice is letting your guards down, letting your walls down finally and telling this person how you truly feel about them. Let go of the old. Again, I really think some of you really need to let go of some kind of past issues that are going on, past persons, excuse me, past connections that are no longer working for you because they are just bringing you down and it's dead and gone. Like it's cold and done. Then the new one that's coming in is going to be very fiery, very, um, very passionate is what I'm seeing. I just feel like you're you're really on your guard right now and you're not sure if you should let this person in or not. I feel like this, I keep hearing you're sleeping on this connection for, and I really feel like it has to do with a, a parent figure or a mother figure. Doesn't have to be, but for some of you, I feel like there is a, um, 
a person could be a female person that is definitely coming in um definitely sleeping on a connection that you shouldn't be this person could have children as well because she has a bunch of kitties with her and she's sleeping in her little big comfy couch she might have children or this person oh wow okay so some of you this person that's stopping you from coming forward could definitely be your mother or this person that you're connecting with their mother does not want to see you with them and this mother of theirs they have cats they have freaking cats. She's like the cat lady. Look at that. An old cat lady is what I'm hearing. The whole crazy cat lady. No offense to anybody out there. I'm just saying. Whoever this person is you're connecting with, they have a mother that does not like you and they have animals. They have cats for sure. Maybe three cats if that's possible. Because she has three cats in that picture right there. So whoever you're connecting with, the mama don't like you. Sorry, but it's true. We know we always get into that. Or this could be their father that doesn't like you. I mean, take it as it resonates. Embrace the dark. I feel like you might see this person a lot at night. Yeah, you really, I feel like you really do connect with this person mostly at night. Ooh. Make the sacrifice. There's something you need to cut out of your life. I'm sorry, but we all need to do it. We all have to end some kind of toxicity in order to make this come fruitful. So for some of you, you really need to cut out some ish out of your life so that you can come forward and act on this. See the signs. You guys are having signs. Like you, I feel like you guys think about this person. You might think about having children with this person as well. You need to find balance and you need to find courage to come forward and tell this person how you truly feel. Because again, sitting there and just thinking about it and holding your tongue is not going to get you anywhere. And it's not going to help you either. You're just going to keep getting it up in your head instead of relaying this message to your person. It's just going to keep you stuck. It's just going to stop you from sleeping. And it's just going to make your mind go even worse. Like... You definitely are thinking about growing with this person. The egg and the everything in here. I just feel like you're thinking about this person. If you really feel like you could grow with this person. Or this could, you know, be your person thinking about you. I've vice versa, both of you are thinking about growing and planting roots and just I feel like you want more than just a family. Like you want something that's gonna grow and grow and grow for years and people are gonna talk about how you guys came together and family tree and all that is what I'm seeing like you just want that whole family tree you want it all like you don't want just something um temporary you're looking for something that's solid that's gonna be I want to be that old lady that old couple on the porch is what I'm being shown in their rocking chairs you know just drinking their coffee and just growing old with your person is what I feel like a lot of you are looking for not necessarily all of you Share your thoughts. Share these thoughts with this person that you're thinking about. Stop hiding it. Because I feel like some of you are hiding this part of you. Like, look, he's hiding the fact that he wants to grow. I feel like this side's being hidden. Like, I'm this... I'm just this person. But really, deep down inside, you're really a caring person. And this could be the person you're talking to. That they just hide their emotions from you. They hide the fact that they want to grow with you. And they just show this, um... closed off side to you or maybe they're just showing off this very fiery side to them but they're not showing their other side of them maybe this person comes off very fiery but really deep down inside they're a very loving emotional person because they're afraid to get hurt so they're gonna act like they're just this cold detached person even though deep down inside they're normally a very loving person but I feel like they've been through some stuff that's stopping them from really being who they are
something to do with elephants. Um, this person you're connecting with might like elephants or something to do with a little blue elephant that has wings on it. Baby elephant. Embrace your spirit. Embrace it. Stop stop holding back. It, I think feel like a lot of you need to show this other side of you. Like you care more than you say you do or you care more than you act like you do. And I feel like a lot of you need to surrender to this and actually show that you care because that's what's because you're sleeping on this connection. Or you're sleeping on this person because you're working too much. You're not putting the effort into this connection like you want to. And I feel like a lot of you need to come out of that and really open up yourself to this person and really show how you really care. Because normally you do. And for whatever reason, with this connection, this new connection, I feel like some of you are in a new connection. And you're not showing your true self. Like you're holding back when you like you like from what you normally do. I feel like a lot of you are very loving caring nurturing people but you're not really reciprocating that type of energy to this person like you only show them so much and then you pull back and with that i'm gonna get off you guys have a lovely rest of your day blah blah blah, blah. that did not sound right